said, I probably wonder why are we putting stuff in the back of this car and we're taking the big truck, right? Well, it's so freaking icy. I do not want to back this truck down, trailer down this grade. And then guess what happens? We started spinning. I doubt it happened, but I don't want to find out. <laughs> so, gotta take all our gear, pull the truck out, and then pull the tr this car up to there, and then unload it. How about that? Gotta love remote start. Right? Technology. Okay, we are heading out. Finally, do a check over the trailer and get on the road. Well, look <laughs> who's waiting for a ridey. <laughs> so the kid and I are driving down the road. Somebody's critiquing my truck. No, I just said the flat. She says this windows down, sunroof's noisy, the back of the bed's doing something. <laughs> I tell you, you gotta love technology today in vehicles. For the Ford, that's a really uh, about four years ago changed me to uh, the Ford product. You have the adapter cruise on this truck, you know, and years ago, they, many manufacturers would not put adapter cruise on these big trucks. And I tell you, driving this truck on long trips, it's huge and uh, just really giving you that ability to go further. And then you have massaging seats. So if I'll show you here in a second, I just turn it off. But the next thing you have is you have massaging seats right now. This seat that I'm in, which kind of helps you, uh, you know, as well, maintain your, your just energy in your body, I guess you could say. And years ago, my right leg was really just, uh, I had a lot of issues with my right leg. I just holding the gas pedal all day long, driving around so much. And that was another reason, that was kind of a primary reason I went to the Ford trucks because I could drive around and massage my leg and that made a huge difference. And also the adaptive cruise, which took off my foot. You know, I've been riding around in trucks and vehicles, you know, doing 150, 200 mile plus days, like, you know, five, six days, seven days a week for over 30 years, like 35 years now. So uh, this is just really nice. Anybody here looking at these four products, I mean, for me, I think it's, a really great product and I'm not really up to date on the Chevy and the uh, the Ram side I don't believe those have massaging seats I know they have the, uh, the Chevy has the, the buzz butt thing if you get out of your way you're backing up but I don't know if they have the massaging seats and uh, I think that they're the Ram now has adaptive on the heavy duty Chevrolet my guess would be they probably did too all right, we're gonna get off and get some breakfast because the Panera that's up near our place, they were uh, actually not open this morning and I'm assuming because of all the ice that we're dealing with up here and probably have a late opening. So we're gonna go ahead and get the Wawa up here and get some pretty good breakfast. All right, getting fuel. Check out the truck now. Make sure nothing's falling over. All right, make sure the straps are good. Legs tight. Tight. handling I've been able to uh, really feel 
feel as a truck with the 10 speed auto. And another thing this truck has is an anti sway feature, which you saw my video yesterday. You see how I set up the trailer settings, and that helps the back of the trailer from uh, walking back and forth on you. And all I right, my first tow with my 2020 F450. And here you are, so at 75, you're about 2200 RPMs. Just get anybody out there, kind of the idea of what's going on. And then let's see here on our fuel economy, we're at 9.6. Now I think that change a little bit. We may get 10 out of this. So we'll kind of keep an eye on that as we uh, travel down the road. And let's say right now we've got close to 12,000 pounds behind us because I've got a Mustang in there, which I think that's about 4,300 pounds, 4,400 pounds. Then I've got a Indian that's about 850 and a Hurley about 850. That's about another 1,700 pounds. So that's five, that's six. Trailers probably coming in about 44, 4,500. So 10, five gear. So yeah, we're probably getting 10, five to 11 behind us right now. But I gotta get that GVW off that trailer, which that'll tell us the real story. But I'm pretty sure that when I got this trailer, I think my load capability was about 6,500, if I remember right. So I may be a little off on that. We may have close to 12 behind us, but she's pulling really good so far. And uh, I'll keep on telling you my stories as our trip to Florida continues. All right, we're making good time here. Truck's rocking and rolling. I gotta tell you, this F450, I think the 2020s designed just a little better being that transmission. I think they even got this trailer sway down a little better too. So just a really nice truck, man. I tell you, if I'd buy another one, then, you know, well, yeah, let's laugh at that comment. I've already bought three of them, right? So now let's see how we're doing on our fuel economy. Ooh, eight. <laughs> I was hoping to be a 10, but I guess when you're doing the speeds that I'm doing, I guess uh, it kind of makes things different, right? But I'm just hanging the traffic. In all reality, I'm not the fastest guy out here, and the adaptive's awesome. Massaging seat's still going, and that's something that they changed on the 2020 model. I don't know about the 2019, but the, uh, the massaging seat would turn off after X amount of time. And now, I turned that massage seat on probably an hour ago, or two hours ago, and it's still massaging me. So that's really nice. It really gives you, you can see, here I am, just no, uh, get all my, my food stuff down there for you, right? When you eat in your truck, what happens? It ends up on the floor mat, right? So, anyway, anybody out there mulling over the different style dually trucks out there, I can tell you for me the f450 is really really nice and the reason i went the f450 i like the look and the bigger tires f350 you know it's fine it's a great truck it just has a little different wheel and tire package on it so there there we are see this truck right now is, is breaking on its own i'm not touching anything you know? and then it'll start accelerating again once this guy gets out of the way or i get up get around from him Move around him here and pass him. All right, we're now about 140 bucks, 150 bucks. Truck looks good. Just opened up the uh, car hauler and checked all my straps. Everything looking good. Thank goodness.
way here. The truck's running awesome. This truck is so nice. And I'm say right now, it's the nicest dually I've had to date. 8.2 in the fuel. I thought I'd be better than that, but I've been all the bud. So, uh, but I guess I'd tell you this this F450, this truck is so nice. So one of my favorites so far. I think you're gonna have to move your car. Huh? I think you better move your car. <laughs> uh, come on now. He, he doesn't like to answer questions, does he? No. Well, I did. No, no. What do you want? What do you, well, what do you want me to do? Okay. You want to back your trailer in there? Well, I don't know. What do you want me to do? Okay, I'll, I'll turn the lights on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the, big, the biggest light bulb in here is her brain. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, good luck. Well, are you gonna, well, do you want to move your car? <laughs> I'm going to move it. Okay. Maybe. All right. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no popcorn no. Entertainment popcorns and entertainment. All right, here comes Dad getting the getting the two step going. <laughs> All right, now he's gonna help us get in. He doesn't trip over. <laughs> he's got to, look at his. <laughs> All right, you ready for us, Dad? Huh? Are you ready for us? Yeah. All right. You and Julia better get out there and well, drop me in. Weren't. What would you do? Well, I guess I just leave it in the street. <laughs> Part hey, behind uh, David's car. Hey, is uh, <laughs> you need the cages? No, not anymore. Uh, no, not anymore. You know. That's good because they're in the attic. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get those. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 